So guys, welcome back for Ice Combat 7 Deluxe Edition. To play together, it's amazing campaign mode. Every episode will start off with a short animated movie from the storyline. And I'll catch you back on the coin flip. Let's do this. As of 1 p.m. today, the Kingdom of Erugia has declared war on the Ocean Federation. As soon as the news broke out, enemy aircraft began bombing Ocean territory, causing widespread destruction. The Air Defense Force has released a statement saying this violent attack was carried out by drones. They speculate the drones were secretly transported to Osea in shipping containers and launched remotely. The Secretary of the Navy has stated that the enemy was targeting naval ports across the country. According to the Secretary, all of the nation's aircraft carriers, including one still under construction, sustained severe damage in the attacks. We have yet to hear back from the Department as to the fate of Ocean carriers currently at sea. Hold on. I've just received breaking news. The International Space Elevator, which is being built in southern Yuzha, has been seized by the Erusian Army. Reports say former President Harling was touring the site at the time, but his current whereabouts are unknown. Our sources in government tell us it was Harling's policies regarding the space elevator that caused economic frictions in the area, and which ultimately led to this war. Located near Erugia, on the continent of Yuzha, the space elevator has been under construction for some time now. The Executive Office of the Ocean Federation has declared a national state of emergency. They have ordered all its armed forces, including Yuzhan peacekeepers, to mobilize and make the necessary preparations to launch an immediate counterattack. Ladies and gentlemen, our country is officially at war. Stay tuned for further updates. Breaking news from ENN. Osea launched an attack on the capital today, striking Farbanti from their aircraft carrier, the Kestrel II. After a brutal battle, the Erusian Air Force successfully repelled them. During the air raid, the Ocean Air Force fired missiles at the city and managed to shoot down a number of Erusian fighters. Some of the disabled planes then crashed into residential areas. The world was screwed. Twenty years ago, the Earth got slammed by an asteroid. Yuja was on the wrong side of the planet and got hit. Hard. Refugees swarmed the Erusian Republic, the biggest country on the continent, plunging it into chaos. They were desperate and started a war, one they had no hope of winning. That's the war my dad fought and died in. The biggest nations from two continents went head to head, and the so-called righteous Oceans struck the deal that ended it. They fancied themselves the only nation that could bring peace and stability to the world. They even tried saving the Yuzhans, still suffering from the disaster. That's how a space elevator, stretching way up into the sky, ended up being built in Yuzha, paid for by the Oceans. President Harling said he did it out of compassion for his fellow humans. But to the folks in Erugia, it looked like Osea was moving in to take over. Erugia went from being a republic back to being a kingdom. When they started this new war, they managed to get the drop on everyone. The second the declaration hit the news, Erusian forces took control of the space elevator without spilling a single drop of blood. President Harling was touring the elevator when it happened and disappeared. Then, while that was going on, the Erusian ships that were docked all around Osea released a swarm of drone fighters they had hidden on board in containers. No one thought they were capable of doing what they did that day. With pinpoint accuracy, they managed to take out everything that was military, and not a single civilian was hurt in the process. Osea pissed lots of people off with their huge military presence around the world. Erugia didn't have the same reach, but they could hit their targets faster and cleaner. And when all this was going down, I just so happened to be in my flying drag racer. In case you were wondering, yeah, I survived. I crashed in a bombed out Ocean Air Force base, then got arrested for breaking wartime aviation laws or some crap. The world went from being at peace to being at war. 
all in the blink of an eye. I was tried, found guilty, and stuffed into a cargo ship. For company, I had some court-martialed soldiers. And remember those mothballed planes I told you about before? They were loaded on the ship, too. We headed off down south for several days, and then swung east. That's how I got here. I was thousands of kilometers from Arusia, on the opposite side of the Yuzian continent. For a port, it was dull as hell. It had three rusty patrol boats. And the base? The fences were topped with razor wire, the tower had a searchlight and machine guns, and a truck with a gun turret was parked in front of the gate. Its gun was aimed at the yard. This was a prison. This place looked like a full-on base, but half the tanker trucks were just big balloons, and the runways weren't even paved, just painted on the dirt. The whole place was just one big fat lie. The only reason I was here is because they knew I'd restored a supersonic plane. They wanted me to make something out of the mothballed planes they brought that they could park on the fake runway. Can you believe that shit? So I tried to escape. They found out and set the dogs on me. Back to the command center. Let's see what we got. Eruja has made a declaration to the Ocean Federation and all countries on the Yuzhen continent stationing the IUN peacekeeping force that we are now at war. Right after the declaration was made, surprise attacks began around the continent that have inflicted major damage. I love the way they describe forces. it on the map. Forces aligned with Arusia are currently appearing throughout Yuzhia. The combination of these forces has overwhelmed the majority of the continent, and they are now in well, that can be good. East. Additionally, the multinational space elevator has been seized by the Arusian military. After the previous war, the space elevator became both a symbol of peace and a valuable asset in the fight against growing energy. So we have to protect it. Whoever has control of it or has destroy it. influence over the entire continent. We cannot turn a blind eye to this critical situation. The Fort Gray's Air Base Squadron has been entered into the order of battle to reclaim the elevator as an advance element. First, you will attack all hostiles coming in the east of Schofield Plateau to stop any interference oh, wow. with Allied ground troops. Ground forces. The enemy has deployed several vehicles. Not only air to air combat, but air to ground too. Roads. You are to destroy them. They should not pose much of a threat. However, there is a high likelihood that the attack will draw. Yeah, that would have been too easy. Support. If that happens, all right, let's do this swiftly and establish air superiority. So that's our map. Trigger. That's us. We have a couple of friendlies and a lot of targets ahead of us. Radar vehicle. Operation objective, destroy the enemy ground facilities. And looks like we... Yeah, we have an aircraft 3. To gain parts and uh, new aircrafts. That's gonna be exciting. Let's check it out. Points awarded depending on your performance in missions and matches. MRPs. You receive them in campaign mode for each mission you complete and in multiplayer mode for each match you play. Now multiplayer is going to be very engaging and competitive I fear, but I'm, I'm going to check it out and I'll make one video or two about it, just so we know what we're facing. I think it's got to be exciting. Use MRP in the aircraft tree. When you acquire a new aircraft you will automatically be given a special weapon, but the remaining two need to be purchased. Okay. Spend your MRP wisely as you cannot dispose of any aircraft, weaponry or upgrade parts once you have obtained them. And spent MRPs cannot be refunded. Now we're gonna have to spend wisely. 
in order to get the right aircrafts and the second weaponry that goes with it. Some aircraft and special weaponry are better suited to anti-air combat, others to anti-surface combat. The key to a successful mission lies in choosing the appropriate setup. Yeah, that makes sense. If you have ground forces, you want air-to-ground missiles. If you have air-to-air combat, you want air-to-air combat missiles. Which is pretty much what's explained in this page, I believe. Yeah. Special weaponry types. Air-to-air for dealing with aircraft. Air-to-surface for dealing with targets not in the sky. Pretty simple so far. Parameters. Speed refers to an aircraft's flight speed. Okay, that's the basic tutorial that they gave to you so you're not lost about it. Have varying costs that only apply in multiplayer mode. So that's not concerning us. Here is the aircraft tree. That's the exciting part. So we have the F-16C, the F-114D available. Mirage 2005, that's a French one and MiG-29A, we all know where it comes from. And some locked path for some reason. So we have this one. A low weight fighter developed to, among other things, support large lead hair superiority. It has an acceleration boost already acquired. And these are the second weaponry. So we don't have the ground guided penetration bomb, but we could acquire it and the short-range aerial suppression air-to-air -air missile, which is mouthful just by itself, the SASM. For 2,500 MRPs, that's not so much. So we could be able to maximize the F-16C right away, actually. Um, let's do this. All right, you unlocked a new special weapon. That's nice. And do we want the guided penetration bomb? Or do we want to... Oh, we can't invest in another plane because it's way too expensive for now. We have to complete more missions. So we're going to maximize the F-16C, which we will rock through the campaign, I believe. I think that's the wise choice. The F-4E right there is already maximized. As you can see, there's no cost on the second weaponry. And that's unguided bomb. Okay, so it just drops where it bombs. And that's it. You don't have any target for it. So that was the aircraft 3. We'll check it out every time we have a mission. See what we unlocked. So we have our planes. The F-10, 4CAV, the F-4E, the F-16C. And for this time, I want to I wanna check out the, the F-4E because we haven't checked it out yet and I would like to check as many planes as we can through the campaign so we have grounded forces so we're gonna need bombs somehow that goes to the ground right so unguided or locked on I'm gonna go for locked on because I think it's gonna be easier and we're pretty much ready for our sortie look at that beauty Main squadron sortie ASAP I love how they announce it. Okay, here we are. Current target is on rails, but there's still military vehicles and anti-air weapons. Testing left and right, up and down every time. Destroy the target. But HQ has made it clear that no harm should come to civilians and no damage is to be done to public facilities. Yeah, that's important. But, uh, that's the inside view. Ah, oh, the cockpit is so cool. No I love the cockpits in this game. So far, they're cool, and I believe they're gonna be even cooler. The more we go. Is it me or is the very center tail of this plane looks like two highs and a smiley? I can't believe this. Do it does look like it. Alright, the target's on here. Oh wow, the animation for the hair to ground missiles is gorgeous. Oh, and it went like 90 degrees down. That was pretty funny. They know we're here. Wow. I love those new missiles. Hair to ground is just... Easy peasy, baby. We have air to air combat too. He's down. That was a helicopter, I believe. An Apache, maybe. I don't know. Alright, that's base. Up ahead. APCs. We have a lot of different type of... Army vehicles and, and 
anti-hair defenses. This game is very well done. Target destroyed. Three to go. Continue to engage at your discretion. Enemy interceptors inbound. All right. Prepare to engage in One more APC. I'm really happy they made Ace Combat 7. It was too long between the last one and this one. Two targets left. We have missiles coming up. Evading. Launching flares. That worked well. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we're getting fired at. It's a lot of buggies in the sky too. I'm trying to focus on the ground forces. Let's go. Wow, that almost eat us. There's a missile coming. Take it. Some gas tanks. The graphics are gorgeous. And the base is eating back. We're gonna have to be careful. Make some G's. Take some heavy turns. And pay attention to the skies too because the planes in the, in the skies are gonna come after us and... What? This one we cannot let go. Oh, it misses. Come on, let's get after it. Come on, come on, come on. It's just heat. I'm eating the brakes. Getting right behind it. And it's down. Oh god, I was so afraid it got up in the sky before we get to it. That's one more chopper down. Flying through the fire is so cool. We almost missed this one. They go so fast in the sky. Let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. It's all about being passionate. Position yourself so you stay in the six. And that should do it. Oh, we missed. How did it miss? Wow. Come on, break right. Break right. We got this. We almost got him. But I was too cheeky. Come on, come on, come on. We need to get right behind him and fashion. Let's go. That's how you do it. Get in it six. And shoot whatever is in front of you. The, radar network. Right, the reload time launch. of the missiles is very long. We almost missed that target. This one was coming right in our face. That was pretty easy. Come on, come on, come on. We're shredding this game right now. Feels good. So satisfying. Next. Wah. Went too fast. That's the thing. In this game, either you go super fast or super slow. And if you go super slow, you're gonna stall. And the plane is gonna fall and crash. So you gotta keep a speed limit. There's another plane trying to take off. We have to take care of it. It's a C-17. Come on, come on, come on. Sharp turns. It's almost up in the sky. Get it! Yeah! Got the tower with the guns. That was pretty cool. Come on, we gotta catch the AH. Yeah, that's one left. Right behind us. Blinking white. Come on, come on, come on. I got gotcha. you. Oh man, this game is so satisfying. And it's only mission two. 20 missions to go. Oh, this guy is pretty fast. There's a C-17 in the sky. That's a pretty important one. When it's labeled target, TGT in red, that's really the first priority of the mission that we have to focus on. They've been kind enough to put it that way. Ah, oh, look at the inside view. The cockpit view is insane in the, in the clouds. 
with the rain animation. H2, missile launch. Let's go! The explosion was quite special in this one. What's going on now? Alright! What was that? Multiple bogies on radar. They're close. Wait, they're being launched. You're clear to engage. They're probably hostile. Judging by the way. Oh they wow, look, they moved so far out. So fast. Those UAVs are not to be taken lightly. Just think of them as somewhat clever decoys. Come on, come on, come on. These drones have great Let's see how good they are. You know what IG turns are, right? It's all about being patient. They go super fast, changing directions. I feel like a flying brick. It's gonna be quite an exercise, but we can make it. Come on! We got it! There's another one. Brick left. MQ-99. Let's go! Yeah! Skyrocketing! Would that miss? Yes, it did. I had a feeling it would. The position was way too vertical for it. Just like this one, I believe. Or maybe, with a bit of luck. Nah, it missed. Because of the clouds. We missed again. The rain animation is great. Puts you into the mood. Come on, come on, come on! Don't try to read their movements. Yeah, we got it! I was afraid the cloud would break the lock. Wow, look at that inside. Let's go! Yeah, destroyed! The inside view is pretty insane if you ask me. I overshot it. I was too eager to shoot him right in front of me. Come on, come on, come on. It's only one left. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Stay in his six. He was way too fast. That one is gonna be tricky. Come on, come on, come on. The last one is always tricky. He's toying with us. Ah, taking some G's. Let's go. Yeah! Oh my nice god, I didn't know if if the missiles had it in them. They did! The skies are clear. Nice work, everyone. Mission complete. RTP. Success! No casualties. We couldn't have done any better. Guys, Return I hope you enjoyed base. this episode as much as I did. I don't know. Maybe the bandits we took down cost civilian casualties. Drop a like if you liked it. If you didn't, thumb down. And please subscribe to help the channel as much as we can. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.